What is up, everybody? <clears throat> I wanted to come on here and make a video about uh, Foshnot, basically, and the topic is people nuking Foshnot, the nuking the event area. There's two different types of people that will nuke the Foshnot event area. It's people that want to uh, kill the AFK people. And then it's people that are just trying to troll people. Or I've even seen some people just nuke like this portion over here. So the frogs are irradiated. And you can get more XP from killing the frogs. So I guess technically three people. But back to the point of the video. The point I'm trying to make is... I get what you're trying to do, you know, I can see, yeah, you're trying to nuke the Oshnot area. I'm making this video about 15 minutes before Oshnot starts. So, yeah, but as you can see, there's one, two, ten, I don't know. I don't know if this is like actual active people or... it's not too loud but anyway let me just tell you guys to you people i hope this actually like blows up in the fallout community this video would be awesome not because i want to get views or subscribers but because i want to make a point so people can kind of understand like huh that's cool i might do that but I just want to make a point here and like make sort of a like thing on the event because hold on let me get away from this music alright so <laughs> I get it you want to nuke people that are FK but is what you don't realize is we just want to get the mask just as much as you, right? We want to get, everyone wants to get the mask, the rare mask and everything just as much as the next guy. Okay. So, how about you take a step back and think for a second. Why are these people AFKing? Because they want the mask like you do. But why specifically are they AFKing? And I'll tell you why. It's an easy answer. People have jobs. Yeah, people have jobs. Real life jobs. People have school. People have lives outside of the game. But they want to reap the rewards of the event. Just as much as you do. So, what you're doing basically is you're basically preventing someone else because that's really all it is is you're jealous you're jealous that they're they can afk they can go afk and grind the event all you can while you're playing the game stuck at home bored so you're just going to play the game and wait for the event to spawn in every hour you're jealous you're mad Every video on YouTube I have watched of people nuking the Foshnot event and killing the FK people, you guys always have the same depressing, agitated tone to your voice. And you're so pretentious sounding. You sound like a pretentious a-hole. You sound like a jackass on these videos. No one that nukes these people that are going AFK, if you're defending it, you need to stop. Because I'm telling you, it's so stupid. It is stupid to actually think that nuking these people that are AFK all because they want a mask. You're, why are you nuking them? Because you don't want them to have to put in the work? Buddy, while they're putting in the work in real life, doing something else, you're killing them so they can't get their event rewards. Why? What for? 
I am in the army and I can't go AFK and get fashion out fashion art rewards. Because of people like you wanna nuke the fashion art area. Every time I come back, I'm sitting there, just spinning around in circles, looking at my dead body, and I go to check my inventory and I got like two or three masks. While I'm doing work in the military, you're over here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna nuke these people that are AFK. I don't want them getting the rewards. You see how dumb it sounds? You see how bullshit it is? You see how you're actually the dick? And also, not to mention, when you nuke the area, you're making it an inconvenience for everyone. You make the event harder. Because I'm over here as a bloody build, have to fucking pop a fucking right away every fucking five seconds. So, think twice about nuking the Fosh in that area because you want to kill AFK players. Instead of just seeing an AFK player as being lazy, all oh, these are lazy players that want to reap the rewards, they're not doing anything. You're the asshole. You're the jerk. You are. Because you want to prevent people you want to prevent people from getting the rewards because, oh, they're lazy and, oh, they don't deserve it. They need to back you play. <sighs> it's annoying. The butcher, the baker, the it's annoying. Because people like me that have real jobs and have to work every day, except on the weekends, I don't have any chance of getting the mask because I can maybe do the flash knot maybe five or six times a day if I'm lucky because I gotta eat dinner, I gotta do stuff, I'm busy all throughout the day. And if I try to stay AFK to get the rewards, I'm just gonna get nuked because by some high level dude that's been playing the game forever and has all the items and rewards, just wants to, just wants to try to be Batman or something. Like, what, who are you helping to? Who are you helping? That's what I want to ask these people. Like, I wish I could actually talk face to face with these people that do this, that like nuke the Bosch not event. Who are you actually helping? Because the, reason, the whole reason I made this video is because I was scrolling through YouTube, looking at Fallout 76 videos, just seeing, and then I come across this guy. I'm actually gonna shout him out here, just just so maybe I can see him and talk to him. Foxy Raven TV. Fallout 76. AFKers getting what they deserve. What they deserved? Getting, getting, getting what they deserved, huh? Getting what they deserved. What do they deserve? Like, your your you're ruining other people's chances at getting something just because you're not even analyzing you're literally not even actually analyzing why they're doing what they're doing actually analyze what the fuck they're doing and why they're doing it maybe think to yourself hmm why would someone go afk to get event rewards probably because they don't have time or maybe they want to spend time with their family, but they still want to, you know, play or, or, or still want to get Fallout 76 rewards. Just think about stuff. That's the problem with a lot of people think. A lot of people act and then think. No one thinks before they act. No one. No one does. It's frustrating because I, I, as someone that's in the army, I enjoy playing video games in my free time. 
because it helps me stay mentally stable and it helps me have fun. But when you have guys that want to nuke people that are AFK, I mean, that may sound like a burden record, but how is that fair to me? I can't play all day like you. And maybe you're going to make the argument, oh, I don't play all day either. I just play when I can. <sighs> the guy in the video sounded at least. Either he was 30 and has been smoking for at least five years, or he was 40, maybe 45, maybe 50 even. Years old. Um, Foxy, what's his YouTube again? He wrote. Oh. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy does glitches and exploits. I'm always surprised. Which I mean, I respect, I respect the guy's YouTube channel and everything, but... <clears throat> this video, when he, when, when, the, when I seen this video, I was like, nah. Nah. Not cool. Not cool. I was like, no, I gotta make a video. This isn't just to this guy specifically. This is to anyone. <clears throat> this is to anyone Finally, that someone with the wants to nuke the fashion out of the area. Oh, Our medical team. Yes, I don't know why this guy's so buggy to try to talk to. You. Finally. Like, look at that. The first line of dialogue. I'm trying Finally, to Finally, someone with the guts to help. Our medical team can't do it. Excellent. Fortune. I can show you rough. It's always the same. Jesus. But no, anyway. Uh, just think about what you do before you do it. Before you think about nuking someone that's AFK, who are you helping? Because in my opinion, the only thing you're doing is you get satisfaction from killing these people and preventing them from getting awards. The awards from the event. That. That. Is. You just don't want to get the rewards. bare bones straight to the point I'm just gonna be the first to say it you're just an asshole that doesn't want other people to get the rewards you want to prevent as many people because last year I remember last year this was not a problem it happened a couple times it happened a couple of times but this year it is almost every server that I join or some self-righteous like dude is trying to nuke is, is gonna nuke the event like what for you're not helping anybody Just an asshole. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. You're just an asshole. That's preventing other people from getting the rewards. That's what you're doing. That is the deep rooted reason for why you're doing it. I don't care. I don't care what you say. And you can actually look it up. Nuking uh, Foshnot or whatever. <clears throat> you can literally look it up. This game is already dying as it is and has been for the past like 
it had a spike of popularity when uh, it became free for PlayStation Plus and and stuff like that, and it it, it retained a few people. But I'm telling you, if you're a high level, really high level, the worst thing you can do is eliminate the new players, the player base of new players. That is the absolute worst thing you can do. And typically, I see I don't see very low levels on here anymore. I really see low level recover on missing equipment, the better. I don't see very many low level uh, yes. players on here anymore. I see you and it's for problem. this reason. It's because you have very stingy that high level players that already have a bunch of stuff. This game is not noob friendly because it's a very um it's very hard, right? It's not very it's not hard as in the gameplay it's, it's hard, it's just it actually getting your feet on the ground, getting anything of value to be able to like trade it. Morning takes a while. Unless you find some people that are really nice and stuff like that that are gonna help you players. Derek and I can but most of the time you're not gonna find that anymore. Put down my guns and work the not gonna really find that. Um But uh, here's the Foshnot event. I'm gonna nuke it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna launch a nuke after the Foshnot event and kill all the AFK people. Because I don't want them getting the rewards. <sighs> Honestly, I don't even think this area of the map should be able to get nuked during this uh, event. During the Foshnot event that goes on, I don't even think it should be able to be nuked. I don't even think it should be able to be nuked. It should be an unnukable area. If you try to nuke it, it should like say something like I say fact, and this is what my this is what my Fallout Six experience. This right here. I don't know if it's my PlayStation is damaged. I don't know if there's something wrong with my PlayStation, but this game is very buggy and very glitchy. It'll this server will get nuked sooner or later. So. Hello, and that. Mary Flashnot, do you? Sir, we'll get nuked eventually, just like every Help other show does. History dates back to Hello Research Assistant. I'm not going to be on the only one. I'm not going to be the only one doing the event. It's crazy. At least these guys are playing music. That's nice of them. Status, fake donuts, parentheses, parent. Jolly, flash, not to you. See, like, it doesn't bother me that we can go AFK. Because I want people to get the mask. Because. Standing by to you know why? Because that prevents stingy ass motherfuckers that actually get the mask from being able to sell it. For you know, a hundred, hundred fifty dollars. Literally, I seen a glowing scorch beast queen mask. Glowing scorch beast queen mask. 
going for $160. It's, I haven't, <clears throat> I've only gotten the Scorch Beast, the Blue Devil. Um, I don't think I've gotten the Honey Bee or the Honey Beast. Haven't gotten the Queen or the Honey Beast. I've only got two of the new ones, and neither of them are glowing variants. I've done the event maybe ten times since it's come out. Yes, I haven't gone AFK a lot. Um, I've only been able to do. It. I've only done Fosh Night whenever I can, and I haven't really it has not been paying off at all. I got the Blue Devil like the first time, the first, the very first one that I did on here and then it's like after that it's like all I'm getting is a blue devil the sun mask like all I'm getting is blue devil sun mask it's like I'm not getting any rare ones if I do wind up getting a rare one it's going to be one I already have probably I'm missing the brahmin the loon I actually gave the loon away to one of my friends um, I did have this mask glitched on to a character, the the uh, Monster Mash mask, which I don't know why you can't do it as a Monster Mash mask, but I just have it as a picture on my account, but if you are thinking about a nuke in the Fosh Hunter event because you think you're cool and you're some self-righteous, Hero. Um, yeah, buddy, you're not. What a heaping fine pile for our you're not. bonfire. Thank you. You're not some self righteous hero. You're not some savior. You're just an asshole. Thank it for yourself. Maybe you are just trying to troll people. Maybe you are just being an asshole, but the way you guys phrase it, AFK. You're getting new because you're acting like it affects you. Historically, of course, these masks would have been worn the entire festival by the participants, but we only donned them right before the parade. But, yeah. I'm gonna wear a, wear a flash on mask while I'm doing the event to feel to feel to fit in. I'm gonna march with my buddy here. We're matching, but no, it would be cool if I got a rare mask on video. This guy looks kind of cool, actually. That looks cool. I like this outfit. I don't even know how to get it, but with the fire it's pretty cool. Light. In the candles, bright to light our way. Let's oh my celebrate. Gosh. It's really Fosh loud night. over here. I'm gonna get away from it. But yeah, these people that are AFK do not bother me at all. I have to just start to add people on a group. I just start a group and start my own server. Do a follow first server because I'm pretty sure you can still do the flash out of it and follow first. And just invite people into the server and make sure people are doing the event 24 hours so everyone can get the mask. Theoretically, if you run it for a day and you don't miss a single flash out of it, you get 24 mask drops. 24. 24. What I'm gonna say is please don't be an asshole. Please don't nuke Posh Not anymore. If you see this video and you nuke it or are thinking about nuking it to kill AFK people, don't. I hope, I hope, um, I hope I changed at least one person's mind. Or at least made at least one person think, hmm, maybe he's right. Maybe. 
He's right. I mean, at least listen to someone that's in the military. All I want is the fucking rare mask. At least one. Can I get at least one? Glowing? Can I get a glowing mask? Just one? Just one? Now I do have... I do have the rarest... I do have the rarest... Um, Fashant item you can possibly get. Now it's not tradable. But the number of people that actually have it is very low. And... It's... Pretty crazy because I don't see a lot of people with it. Because you can't trade it, so like you literally have to get it by completing Flash Knot. It has a 0.01% drop rate, I believe, or a 0 0.03. So you have a 1 in like 3,000 chance of getting it or something like that, I think. It's something like that. Is he, is he father, winter, I'm gonna turn my mic, I don't want to talk any louder because I don't want to wake anybody up and be rude or nothing, but, <clears throat> see father, winter, power armor, helmet, I <gasps> don't, ooh, excuse me, but, um, it is the rarest flash knot item, I have confirmed. There are people that say it's not, just because they kind of they'll try to cope. Because I've told people that you know it's the rarest flash knot. They're like, no, it's not. No, it's not. The the Brahmin is, or the the Death Claw is. And I'm like, no, it's not. Because first of all, you can trade it. You can trade it. So actually, getting it isn't that hard. Because if you want it bad enough, you can get it. You can you can go around the RNG. There's no way around the RNG of getting the Father Winter. And not only is it not tradable, but you can't get it. You can only get it by actually completing the event. You can't get it any other way. It is the only way of getting it. So I just say to anyone, anyone that thinks that, that they are going to, you know, you can't say that it's not the rarest because it is it's literally in the game files it's literally on the fallout 76 wiki everything like it's it's one of the rarest items in the entire game same with the ghillie suit um ghillie suit now is very rare um i bought it off of a buddy for like 12k when it was actually tradable and now it's legacy you can't trade it you can't drop it you can't sell it you can't do none of it so very lucky to have it um, i'm glad i have it because it's, it's my favorite outfit i've always wanted it ever since it came out so i'm just glad i Yep, no way around the RNG. Getting Father Winter, you just have to RNG the whole time. But yeah, I will try to attempt to go to AFK tonight. Uh, my first time actually going to AFK since the Vosh event came out, so you can just screw right off if that bothers you. But I don't really care. If I get nuked, I also don't care because the game. Virtual items aren't really that important to me. Game flip would be cool. Game flip is really cool in theory too. I just was kind of a side topic before I end the video, but because I'll end it after the functional event ends. But game flip would be so much better if it was easier to actually do things on there, and it was quicker. 
Like if it was quicker. Like I wish there was a quicker way. I mean, it just depends because it's just all dependent on the seller who's selling you the item. Some people it can take a couple days. Some people it takes like a couple hours. But my issue is they send a they send a code right to your bank. It's impossible for me to buy something from GameFlip like with my bank. So I have to ask my buddies to buy it for me, get it, and then give it to me. And I cash up them the money. It's so annoying that I have to have another buddy that I trust to actually do that for me. Because what if I back out and say, no, I don't want it. They already bought it, paid for it and everything. And like, yeah, I'm just like, it would be so much cooler, but my bank account doesn't allow for, they don't, it, my bank account, it doesn't, so I can't access that four-digit verification code. I can't access it. It's impossible for me to access the verification code that they send to your bank because my bank doesn't show that much description. It doesn't show the description. All right, come on, RNG lords. Give me... Dude, imagine I get the glowing Scorch Beast, Scorch Beast Queen on video, live reaction. I, I know I won't, but Unyielding Brotherhood Recon. That's actually pretty good. And anything Unyielding is good for me because, you know, bloody deal in 2024. Wish Mask, Wash Knot, Garland. Yep. Got another witch mask. The mask I was already wearing. Nice. Didn't get anything new. Not a single new thing. I haven't even got the fucking honeybee. The common honeybee. Or the common queen one. Or, or not common, but uncommon. Like, when am I going to get this? When am I going to get the good one? I do save up all of the flash out awards though. And I actually sell them later. For like because if you sell a flash knot plan, something flash knot related in the summer and people don't have it, people are gonna want it more technically. It's not gonna sell like crazy because I mean there's not a lot of new players, but if a if a new player sees a cheap enough plan and it's something they don't have, they're going to want to buy it. Or even a higher level account. Because people don't want to wait, you know, nine months to do Foshnot again. You know, people don't want to wait a year for the next Foshnot. So, it's sort of like a window of like when it's best to sell Foshnot stuff. Don't sell a Foshnot stuff like right after Foshnot ends because everyone has the Foshnot items. But as time goes on, and less and less people have the Foshnot stuff, you kind of... This seems like a pretty good server. I think this actually seems like a pretty good server to go AFK in. So, that's what I'm But yeah, I would get something. I probably can wake up to something glowing. That would actually make me so happy if I got something glowing. It would really be cool. I'm gonna join this Facebook thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna join this Facebook thing because that would be kind of cool. I want a new group of buddies to play Fallout 76 with again. Or we trade with each other and help each other find stuff. Events, trading, joining Fallout 76 online, PS, on Facebook.
Oh, sorry. But um, I just want to make this video for you people that nuke. Nuke Foshnot. I want to nuke Foshnot because yeah. Like I said, I just want to make a quick video about Poshnot and why you shouldn't nuke it. That's ex basically, let me just sum it up. The reason you shouldn't nuke Poshnot is because you're an asshole if you do it. Because people just want the rewards just as bad as you. People want the rewards just as bad as you. <clears throat> people want the rewards just as much as you do. So don't be a jerk and prevent people from getting the rewards because you don't like people going AFK. You don't like people going AFK. <sighs> grow up. Just grow up. Grow up. Do what you want to do with the Fosh Knot and go to your little camp. Go, go, go far in your XP that you can try to get as high level as you can. Just, just stop being so, like, pretentious and trying to be some, like, hero, like, online vigilante. I'm nuking people that are AFK. Grow the hell up. God. But that's all I gotta say. If you watched the whole video, thank you. Like the video. Spread it around. Share it to your Fallout 76 communities. Share it with your buddies. Whatever. But stop nuking Helvetia during the Fallout, during the fucking um, Foshnot event. Alright? Chill out. It's not that serious.